is Apostle Chwenga separated with his new wife? This is the question. And you are not getting it from me. You are getting it from Zim I or Simba Chikanza. This is the question. And I want to explain to you before you start to say what's going on. So there is this article and I'm going to read to you what it says here. Apostle Chuenga deserts new wife barely six months into the marriage by a correspondent. The same sex preacher Apostle Talent Farai Chuenga has deserted his new wife barely five months into the marriage. Sources close to the preacher who titles himself mother to his followers confirmed the development to Zim I Singh. It's true he has separated from his wife following some issues as one member who refused to be named said. The preacher has not responded to request for comment at the time of writing. In March, Apostle Chwenga and his integrity had his integrity questioned after altering his stance on several sermons regarding infidelity in marriage. Chwenga, who has deleted some of his videos, now preaches that wives must allow another woman to coexist with them inside the same home. In 2019, Chwenga advocated against the pursuit of having male offspring, stating if you have one if daughters, be content and thank God for the children you have. No child is less of a child. Video story below. You see. Um, right. Right. Uh, this is the survey that was done and there is my picture here uh, in this video. And the main reason why I responded to this was because my face is on this website uh, in the form of a YouTube video that I did a few months back when I was asking, is there a shift in position over Nyaya Yevana Vaskana? And I understand why Simbashikanza is obsessed or he is attacking Apostle Chwenga. Right. The doubt must be how Simbashikanza, I've worked with him since 2019. And um, Simbashikanza is somebody who I can call he is a. Uh, is a to me is a just a deranged brother he's a deranged brother who, who has got a little bit of jealousy in him uh because of what he sees he doesn't want uh he wants to keep on in terms of um his journalistic work he wants to stay relevant so he pokes pokes pokes, pokes. He, i don't go now then as a fanbe fanbe otora nema and the reason why he's doing this i will tell you why he's doing this the reason why he's trying to do this is trying to uh poke a response from apostle chwenga to say respond aika kuti mukadzi wenyu muchina here to get the understanding so i got told out our kuti eh makasiana nemukadzi what 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 apostle chwenga will come out and you respond maybe have deal sect and everything and then you say you are lying you add another lie on top of that line so my issue is i'm not here to defend apostle chwenga but from the history of simba Chikanza in terms of attacking whether it is opposing whether it's attacking other fellow journalists in in in, uh, in zimbabwe he does not bring evidence. Like he can recycle a story for two years. I can go recycle the same story. He does not bring any source. Because what I know from what I've learned um, as a journalist is your story, can, if it does not have sources, it lacks pro, uh, uh, credibility. If your story does not have sources or attribution, it lacks credibility. Like, for example, if I report that there are 200 people that have died in Mutiriki, 
if I report that, there must be a source, whether it's a government source that confirms this, there must be a source or could be an authority of a chief that confirms this. You understand? So if I don't have authority or a source that confirms what I am reporting, then my story becomes useless. So you get it? So this is what Simbach Kanza is lacking because in this whole story, he's, he just said a close source a close source, a close source, right? Do you have any voices? Because you can't tell me that as a journalist, Vananungo who sent a message, you don't have any, even a WhatsApp chat or even a voice note or even a call. And then you can clone their voice to say, this person, you can't just have a source. A source, close source said this and you don't have evidence. So my advice to him is, if he has got a story, if for real Apostle Chuenga has divorced or has separated with his wife, at least produce some form of evidence in form of a source. Could be a WhatsApp chat, could be a WhatsApp leak, it could be a, anything just to prove or just to show could you once sit as a journalist and you were taught these things. Because these are things, basic, basic things that are taught in journalism that a story, when you are writing a story, or when you are, when you are doing a story, it must have a source. And some stories, they actually they are even multi-sourced. You can have a source there, you can have a source there. Anyway, Ndruwe Dao Chukor for this. So that's why I'm attacking. This is gutter journalism from Simbach Kanza. And um, as much as I am not defending Apostle Chuenga, I want Simbach Kanza to just bring out the story in such a way that it has sources and these sources can at least be believable. Don't put my face on that source and claim that I'm the one who is saying Apostle Chuenga is divorced. Please, Simbach Kanza, you can do better than this.